Good morning vlog. We're in the wilderness. Lindsay's a cook even in the wilderness. Matt and Kennedy enjoying their breakfast together. We got here last night at 7 p.m. Threw up our tent. We pitched a tent. Pitched a tent. No woods. Celebration's hitting us. We're on a camping weekend. We're at Camp Dick. <laughs> Actually, we're having fun at Camp Dick. Give them a rundown hey, of- Camp Richard. No, 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 give them a, a rundown of last night. What happened? What do you mean? Like, we got here at 7 p.m., we pitched our tents, we made dinner. That's it, yeah. <laughs> you just explained it right there. <laughs> then we got wasted right. and that's it, yeah. Oh my God, For this location. is a mess. Now we're eating breakfast. This Bloody Mary is hitting me. That's all I gotta <laughs> say. I could go for another. You get a dip in a bloody. You. you get a dip in bloody. Guys, honestly, don't dip sourdough. Oh, and literally, like anything. tomato, yeah, olive oil. Anything. Ooh, where are we headed, ma'am? Should we go uh, Bookman Pass, 10 miles? <laughs> How we doing? We had a delicious breakfast, and now we're hiking. And a couple of bloody areas. I don't know how well that's doing us right now. Last night we had a bomb dinner. We had yeah. kebabs. That was Casey's idea. No, but Lindsay chefed it up. No, the kebabs were so good. They were so good. And then we like sauteed some veggies. Mm -mm -mm. Delicious. And Case made a corn salad. Ooh. Wait, how was your sleep last night? <sighs> this guy woke up like just I didn't sleep much just because like I always feel like there's like a bear Hi, coming. We're yeah. waiting! Hey, how many steps are we at? Oh my god, we've done so many steps. How was your? 9,900 It was good, besides Shane having to puke in the middle of the night. He had one too many drinks. We love it. That's the kind of energy you need. Yeah, Casey was like proud of you, Shane. If he did it in the tent, that would have been an absolute nightmare. Truly, yeah. I don't think that we would have Ooh. moved forward with that tent. What would you have done tonight? Bumped yes. with you guys. Yeah. <laughs> so pretty. Yeah, you did a leap. Yeah. You know what's the crazy thing about hiking? Huh. Miles feel so long. So it feels so much longer. Oh my gosh, like you could do a four mile hike and it would feel like you were doing ten. Yeah. We're at Camp Dick. Camp Dick. And it's actually an hour and like thirty minutes. Yeah. Would you recommend it? Honestly, yes. I yeah. I think it's great. The leaves are starting to change. It's fall. It's cold at night, I will say. In September, if you're coming camping, it's it was like 36 degrees. It was 36 degrees. Lindsay's skinny ankles are gonna break. Doesn't it feel like you've been hiking for three hours and it's oh my been God, like literally this bloody berry, I'm not kidding. Do not drink and hike. Back. It's much later in the day now. Yes. We did a what? A three mile hike? Which honestly it didn't feel that long. Yeah. It was really Usually nice hikes. and easy and flat. Yeah. And we spent like the rest of the day over by the river just like hanging out drinking. Eating a lot of food. Eating a lot of food. Drinking a lot of Bloody Marys. Yeah, they tasted so good that we just kept That's drinking true. them. I feel like people either love or hate a Bloody Yeah. Mary. People either love or hate them. But we just kept drinking them and they just like, all of a sudden, they taste so good and then they're just yeah. like, they're kind up. of like a snack in like dessert. Yeah, it's like so a sick. small bowl of tomato soup. Yeah. But I don't even know if we said like, we're here, it's me, Matt, Lindsay, Shane, and then Sarah and Randall. It's been a and great time. Yeah, and Kennedy, their daughter. Who's super cute. And we're at Camp Dick. I will never be able to say that with a straight face. Absolutely yeah, no, cannot. me either, me either. We are just camping for two nights. I wish that we had gone camping more often this summer. I know. That's like, I'm so happy that we did it this time. Me too. But I wish that, I feel like we were so busy this summer, but at the same time, I just, I don't even know how much we actually did. That's what, yeah, I was talking to my cousin Adam too, and he's like, I feel like the summer flew by, and he's like, but I actually couldn't tell you what I did, but I was busy all the time. And I was yeah, like, we were busy that's exactly back how I feel. Yeah, there was just something every weekend, I feel like. But it's been, I feel like it was honestly probably because it's the first summer after COVID. This is the little river that's next to us. How calming is this though? Just the sound of the water is just, all you need, you know? All you need. Me and Casey actually really love camping too. Yeah, I love it. I literally live for it. I, I love everything I, about yeah. it. Yeah, I think if I had an RV, 
I would live truly my best life. Just because you wouldn't have to like pack shit up all the time. Right. It's like, like that's the that's the toughest part is just packing shit up. Right, like the to do, but honestly, yeah, and just a more, a slightly more comfortable sleep, you know? Yeah. But yeah, we should have come more. We'll have to do more next summer. I know. Also, I feel like next time we need to plan it a little bit more in advance. Me and Casey, like, quote unquote, plan this, but we basically just picked out where we wanted to go. Turns out that campsite was closed. Colorado's kind of crazy because you have to make sure, like, it's September, it's really warm during the day, but camps and like hikes are already closing for the season mm -hmm. because like a lot of like the elevation i guess it gets like super, super cold, cold yeah. so yeah just make sure you plan ahead because make sure you plan that shit out thoroughly yeah thank god don't for be Randall. like us yeah thank god for everyone else who was like wait guys like this this place that you picked out is first come first serve like their open season ended last weekend and we were like guys it's fine like we'll just pitch a tent wherever Literally. we literally picked out a place and we were like we're set for the weekend we were Let's like pack i love this place this is great it looks amazing reviews like we'll get a spot there's eight of us we're fine seven of us turns out camp was closed we're yeah we're absolutely and then we randall went to another camp and it was also closed and this is the third camp camp dick yeah was open and taking peeps so here we are camp dick mm -hmm. and we're living our best life all right casey's gonna wash her face in the river, <laughs> and then we're gonna make some dinner. Oh, that feels good. The dish soap, though. Like all natural, all natural groceries. <laughs> all natural dish soap on your face. It says it comes from a grease. Talk about something that removes makeup. Dish soap. <laughs> My face feels so freaking good. It's like, Do you feel squeaky watch clean? Cure my acne, and then all. <laughs> All the hundred dollar products that you said. Like, get out of here. Get out of here. Scram! <laughs> it's so pretty. Did you eat? <laughs> he did. What'd you have? Look at him stretch. Lens made some burgers. And some salad. Good team Here of success, Vlog. Rumptious dinner tonight. Oh, and chef up row, some you know? so you're in a rowan night. <laughs> Hand the second rowan second night. Night in a yes. row. That explains our trip. <laughs> yes. that explains everything. Cleaning. How many hamburgers? Some chet. Some oh my god, I can't. Some chet? cheddar? It's some chet. cheddar salad. I, I well, we got the sick that. chet right here. <laughs> chet! <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> well, I almost dumped that off of Matt, yeah. if you did that, I would have actually walked her. We would have had to actually. I would have walked her. Voted you off the island, I think. Put a little extra lemon. Oh, we're just going to throw this on the salad. We love that. No. Y'all want cheese? You want cheese? Yeah. Fire on the grill. Why did you turn it off? Shane because your was, burgers were frying. Yeah, Shane was My burgers me. are prime. Those are fucking <laughs> A1. Ooh. <laughs> The Hawaiian buns. Lindsay's playing the Hawaiian buns for dinner entertainment. The nom. The Are they so good? Kenny, how's your burger? Mm. Loving it? Living for it? Mm. Amazing. Mm. Case, yeah. This salad balls. is incredible. <laughs> oh. oh. See what you got, Lance. Shit! Shit, sister's on fire! Oh, she played cool. That was on purpose. That was good. Smart play. That was smart play. The camera does add a little pressure. That's up. That's at the hole. Let's see what he got. Ooh. Hit the side of the hole. Bro, what's going on? I think he's watching. He's a spectator. We've got, we've got a crowd. We have fans. We need real commentary. I think it might be the wind coming in off the mountain. We how do you feel about that game, <laughs> Lens? Coming off the field, how do you feel? I am to you. What do you think? Sorry to interrupt, but the winners feel pretty damn good, actually. All right, all right, all right. I'm feeling stressed. I feel like I let down Kennedy. It holds flowers. Rowan wants to get into the tent. Oh my Go God. Go interview him Rowan. real quick. Yeah. Rowan. Rowan, what do you have to say about trying to get into our tent when it's locked up? <laughs> we, uh, he's not like really he's putting that himself much, to bed. <laughs> he's, he's so tired. 722 and Rowan DeFrancesco has put himself to bed. He's like, guys, I'm ready. 
He said, I'm done. I'm sick of this bullshit. <laughs> we have a one tired puppy. Cutie. Good boy. Stay in there, bud. He's in the hay. I feel like he'll, he'll feel better in there when if the door's open. Yeah. You can still see what's going on out here. Yeah, we are so concerning. How's your day going? It'd be better if I could find some damn chapstick in this bitch. He's just peering around the car for some chapstick. Oh, I found some! Nah. -uh. Yes! It's wow. dog hair all over. <laughs> oh? Oh my god. I'm still gonna use it. She is a crazy hope. We were just um, taking some business meetings from the coffee shop. <laughs> Me responding, okay, gotcha, thank you, when I still don't understand. I actually want to tell you coffee on the like that. I'm happy right now, because we don't know. Like, I guess I gotta step up. We don't know. We don't normally drink coffee. Absolutely. I'm sweaty. <laughs> Um, sure. Don't get a hair. I would love to wet my whistle. Oh, sand in there too. I love it. <laughs> feel like I'm at the beach. You're feeling all lubed up. Oh, ready to, go. ready to go. Ready to go. All right, so we need to tell you guys something that happened. Wow. Oh, that was exciting. We stopped filming because. Things, things a little wild. Things went downhill quickly. We, we were last time you guys saw us, we were having a jolly time playing cornhole. Cornhole. I love that little. <laughs> and then that night, <laughs> I actually wish we filmed it. To be honest, because it was pretty fucking funny. But there was a legit windstorm. It was 40 mi 45 mile per hour gusts. Lindsay's tent is <laughs> Wait, no, me and Shane were literally in a tent bowl because all the spokes, like all the stakes had come out. So it was literally just our weight holding down the tent. So it was like our, our tent was just flying up at all sides. It's been like a hot minute since I pulled an all nighter and I <laughs> didn't sleep a wink because I'm not kidding. Our, our tent was folding in half on top of us because the wind <laughs> was so so like i've never experienced it was like so this. intense like not only that but our tent our tent was not aerodynamic <laughs> with the wind oh so literally all you hear all night is just like these intense like whipping like our tent is just whipping all over the place literally like a, the side of our tent is smushed across our faces it was actually and it like so i crazy. totally thought because usually you can sleep through a lot so i was like oh Lindsay's probably sleeping through this but Bug i truly matt would, like slept a little bit but there was no way to sleep through this because it actually felt like we were in the center of a tornado. <laughs> like all night long from 11 p.m. until 4.30 in the morning, it was going like Wait, this. I actually thought at one point I was like, are there tornadoes in <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no, I was like, does Colorado have tornadoes? And we couldn't even pack up. Like we were all awake in like, literally every hour of the night we were like, hey, like. No, 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 I crazy. was, as soon as I, you like heard a zipper of a tent, I was my cue. Casey I was like, was like <laughs> she goes, Lindsay, what are you doing? <laughs> like literally, I was like, and then uh, Matt was like, I turned to me, he's like, I just don't think you're the camping too. <laughs> I was like, you know what? A bitch is scared. When there is whirling winds, that first of all, the wind would start like miles away because you're in Colorado, so you have mountains and then valleys. Mm -hmm. and you could hear the wind. We were in a valley starting, and then all of a sudden it would stop for literally 0.1 second, and then it'd be like, <gasps> it'd hit your tent again, and you're like, ah! Like, I don't know how to describe it, but like, I would not it's like almost like you're like, see the wave coming, but you could hear the wind coming and then it would be like, boom, and hit your tent. And then you're like, brace yourself. <laughs> it, was, it was so, it was so crazy. Wait, and then Casey was saying, you can't even pack up because no, it's couldn't. the middle of the night. Like it's pitch black. Like if we were to try and pack up, you can't see anything. Like, how are you going to put stuff away? Well, if we got the tent, the tent was just blown away. Like if we, if that our too. bodies weren't weighing this thing down, it would have just blown away. For, and everything I could hear, it was blowing like glass bottles. Yeah, it was our our stakes kept on coming out of our tent, and I would wake up Shane and be like, Shane, our I tent's just, about to fall over. I just remember 
and Roshane hearing him at like two in the morning. He goes, if this happens again, we're leaving. <laughs> and I was like, yep, he's like, okay. I don't know how people camp outside. Like, I love camping. No, I love camping. I, those were some elements though. I love camping if I have, like when I went camping in a van, that was pure bliss. So then we woke up at like 6 a.m. And as soon, I think Matt was the first one up, but then yeah. Shane got up and Matt was like, as soon as I heard Shane wake up, and then we I woke just, up too, we were yeah. like, all right, let's fucking pack, we're yeah. done. We packed that shit up so quick, like. Literally for 30 minutes. And we were out of there. I really wish we got some like footage, footage of, of the, the wind, wind, because it was a shit show. It was a fucking shit show. Our tent looked like a deflated balloon, just like flopping in the air. <laughs> <laughs> you can hear it, and I think your tent, Shane said it has ended up having like rips in it because like yeah because the wind was so strong yeah but anyway that's it for this vlog hope you enjoyed a wholesome turned wild wild camping trip don't forget to subscribe comment like your friends your mom and we'll see you in the next vlog.